back in August 18th, 2010, I came in contact with a live line, which therein killed me. Without the good Lord and the training that we're provided with and the equipment that the rescue squad has, I wouldn't be standing here today. Hi, I'm Norma Barham. And I'm Blake McCaslin. And we're the 2015 co-chairs for the United Way campaign. In the upcoming video, you will see your United Way dollars hard at work across McMinn and Meigs counties. If each of us contributed just a little bit, we could make a tremendous impact on our community. All of the funds that are received are spent locally, and ordinary people like you and me decide how the money is to be spent. Help us work together to improve our community. Coordinated Charities has been in our community since 1976. It was created by a group of local churches who decided by joining their efforts together, coordinating, if you will, that more good and more effective good could be done in trying to assist people who have needs in our community. Since that time, Coordinated Charities has been a place that people could come to for help and assistance. We regularly do assistance with food. We do assistance with people who get into a fix with the utilities or their rent on a regular basis. Last year alone, we saw and assisted over 1,300 households in our community involving over 3,000 people. With the help of the United Way, we employ a full-time social worker here at Coordinated Charities to make sure that we keep current files on people, we can verify certain things, and make sure that the support that we receive that goes into aiding people and assisting people is done so responsibly and effectively. Last year, over $77,000 of aid and assistance went back into our own community. On that day in question, Keith's crews that were here, that were with him that day, did an outstanding job getting him down from the bucket truck to the ground and then starting CPR within a few, within a few seconds. Our rescue truck arrived with an AED on board and helped revive Keith back to a more stable state and was transported by helicopter to the, to the Erlanger Medical Center, where a day later he came out of his unconscious state, surrounded by family, and was alive and well. Thanks to United Way funding, it helps us to provide the service and helps us provide the equipment and the training and the personnel to, to make stories like this every day. I would first like to tell you about one of our most important ventures, and this is our Speak Up Club app. And thank you again for the possibilities of us being able to put this together for our community. The Speak Up Club app, as you can see, there are seven categories, each fulfilling emotional needs of people who are struggling. This is like having a counselor at your fingertips. Just go to any megaphone that you may need help with, such as anxiety, depression, or basic needs, and there will be answers for you, and also phone numbers for further help if needed. Also, along with our app, we provide support groups, two support groups per week for the community to come in and get counseling and life coaching on any skills that they need as well as receive basic needs packages and clothing and food for free. Also, we have the Speak Up Club anti-bullying program 
which exists in city and county schools in McMinn County. And I'm very thankful for that program. Um, this is an awesome way for kids to learn how to treat each other and to realize how important it is to be kind. I would like to thank you again for all of your support in featuring our app. And I hope you enjoy the information on that. We look forward to serving the people in Athens and McMinn County, thanks to your help. As you can see, the partner agencies provide quality of life, health care, and education to those needing benefits in our community. If each of us contributed just a little bit, we could make a tremendous impact on our community. All of the dollars are spent locally, and ordinary people like you and me decide how the money is spent. Help us work together to improve the quality of life in McMinn County.